All right, here to give you the secret sauce to the golf swing. Uh, you can tell it's about, oh, it's about four o'clock in the morning. I've been pulling 14, 15 hour days and stuff. So this is kind of where I have to do these videos at the moment, try to help you guys out. So what I want to discuss today is the compound pivot. That is the secret sauce, okay? So I want you to understand that when I say keep your head on center and say throw or backhand or whatever, when I do this, you'll see that my pelvis goes up and then on the other side, my pelvis goes up and then I throw, okay? Or I go backhanded like so. But the reason why I can do that is because I've got the walk in motion. Now, easiest way to do this that I've found is I'm, and I'm gonna try to say it as simple as possible, but it's gonna be like a woman walking and more specifically like a sexy woman walking because with a sexy woman walking, she really throws her pelvis out even further than usually just probably just walking a little bit, okay? So when you do that, what happens is your foot's pushing, uh, your ankle rolls a little bit and your knee goes, I'm back up a little bit, sorry for the long shot, but you can see how my knee kind of breaks into 12 o'clock. See, it's weightless right here. Now, when this pelvis goes out like so, my head stays on center. So then you can swing or feel the whole body go over this right leg and that's how you keep your head on center. It's not a sway. Okay, so when you do this and the pelvis is here, now when I do that and the pelvis goes all the way out, I want you to understand that, that my right leg now locks. It really does. Now it doesn't go straight back like this. That's not what I'm trying to tell you to do, right? When the pelvis goes here to the side, I have all my weight on a right leg. If you stand on your right leg and you bend it, it's going to not feel very comfortable. Trust me, so the leg straightens. So when that happens, that's what pushes your weight back over to the left. So when you push your weight back over to the left and you make your pelvis go this way, you're pushing off with your right ankle joint. So when I tell people to roll their ankles, I want you to roll your ankles and that should push your pelvis over and straighten your leg. Now, not necessarily because when people roll their ankles, they also have been told to turn their body inside their hips. Now, this is what I keep seeing instructors try to teach. They try to say this hip's got to go back here in this socket. Well, if you do, you have a two foot balance. See, so everything I'm doing is a one foot balance. So, so it doesn't matter if, so you're right. If you say you throw and keep your head on center and you play great, 100%, you have a compound pivot if your head stays still, okay? Now, I've also seen people say they throw, and I give a lot of Zoom lessons, and I'm very appreciative of it, and I'm, it's wonderful to help you guys because what you think you do and what you do are two different things. I do this for a living, and I see it every single day. People say, oh, I love your throwing video, and they do this, right? And that's not what I want, or they try trying to turn, right? So they're thinking that they're doing this, and they're over here, heads over here, ass over here, right? now. We should understand this. Now, I, I studied the basic kinesiology just out of a book. I really want to try to improve myself. And then I found a role model in Mike Austin. And so this is Mike Austin, Mike Dunaway. I was able to see a lot of their stuff, never met them or anything of that nature. But I immediately was like, oh, this is what I was looking for because I found it. And then I found somebody that hit the ball like the longest driver. So I want you to understand, no, I'm not, I didn't, I didn't come up with all of this. This is just how the human body moves. And so once I studied how the human body moves, then I found a model and that was Mike Austin. Another one that I liked is Manuel De La Torre because his is simple, of, super simple is he swings the club head, but he always keeps his head on center. So when you swing your club head and keep your head on center, you're gonna have a compound pivot without really having to think about it. So I want you guys to understand that, that this right here is the deal. But if I said keep your head still and swing the golf club, you could also do this, see? And then you're like, okay, I'm not hitting it anywhere, right? So I've, and again, so many golf lessons where people have been like, oh, take me very literally, okay? Hey, move my knees. Okay, I'm moving my knees, right? Or I'm really rolling my ankles, right? That, so it's real, real, it's real helpful for me to be able to see you guys. And I love, by the way, all the interactions, all the comments, all the wonderful things you guys are saying. Everybody is getting better. The majority of people are getting better. Uh, and so the majority that are not, I'm available for Zoom online golf lessons. It's the same price as it is if you come and see me here in Hendersonville, Tennessee. I also have people to come and see me for day visits. So come spend the whole day with me and I'll help you with your golf swing. But what I really want you to understand is that you can, once you get your hands and arms relaxed, just like they're hanging and you make the woman walking 
pivot like this, then your arms will go automatically where they're supposed to go. So you don't really even have to think about backhanding or throwing under. If your joints are lined up here and you make that motion, your left hand will make the quarter roll like it's supposed to. It'll backhand like it's supposed to and the right hand will go under like it's supposed to. So this is what I really want you guys focusing on and relaxed arms. Now, if I have an incorrect grip, if I tighten my arms and I look like this and I'm like, okay, I'm gonna do the walking motion. Now I'm not gonna hit it anywhere, am I? See, so I want you to understand that's the reason what I see what I see. See all these people thinking that they're doing what I'm telling them to do. And I love you guys following my videos, right? And I love the people who are getting better on their own. That's awesome. That's really what this is all about. It's trying to spread this word of, Quit trying to turn your pelvis and hip back and turn through and set your pelvis on your right, set your pelvis on your left. When I do this, my lag is up here, guys, and my golf club whips. It does not do this and then turn. Because if you did, you're turning inside your pivot, you're turning inside this way, right? So this is the way you get the golf ball the furthest. And I'm not saying that other things doesn't work because there's a lot of world-class players that keep their leg bent and move their head off the ball and come into here to impact and turn and do all that kind of stuff and can swing pretty fast, right? But this is how your body works the most efficiently. All right, so I hope that helps. Come see me or come get a Zoom online golf lesson. Look forward to helping you guys. And thanks for all the comments. Keep them coming.